Hi, I'm Beth Norcross. I direct the Center for Spirituality in Nature. And as most of you know, it's April 22nd. That's Earth Day. And I'm old enough to remember, and I'm guessing maybe some of you are too, that first Earth Day 51 years ago. And at the time we were kids and full of innocence and hope of what this special annual celebration could mean. But I have to admit that this particular Earth Day and actually the last few Earth Days, I, I've been a little bit grumpy about it, uncharacteristically so. I don't know, it, it just seems that it's become kind of superficial and exploitative. I remember a, a couple of years ago, I was in a large home products store and there were all these Earth Day banners with flowers and, and beautiful colors. And they were in between the shelves of fertilizers and pesticides and invasive non-native plants. <sighs> you know what I mean. This, this sense of, of commercialization and those of you who celebrate Christmas or Passover or Ramadan are familiar with this phenomenon. It reminds me a little bit too of an Easter a few years ago, I was, I was in church and sitting and crammed in in an overflow crowd and the pastor rose to, to give his sermon and he looked out over the crowd and he said, you know, there's a, there's a lot of pressure on me today because I've got to tell many of you something that's, that's going to last you all the way to the next Easter when I see you again. That's sometimes how I feel about Earth Day too. It, isn't, isn't every day Earth Day, after all? Well, I've been, I've been giving this some thought, and I, I wondered if you would be willing to take this challenge with me. How about we put aside Earth Day for a bit and consider instead Earth Moment? So tomorrow, when you get out of bed, right after your feet hit the ground, the first thing you do, well, maybe the second thing you do, is to look outside. Just look outside and find something that delights you, that makes you wonder, that makes you curious. Maybe it's a cloud formation, maybe it's the sun just rising, or if you're up early, maybe it's the warmth and comfort of the dark. Let that moment sink into you. Feel it through all of your senses. Be with it for just a moment. And then the day after tomorrow, do it again. And then the day after that, again. Let's, let's then check back with each other in Earth Day 2022 and, and see if that has made some difference in your life, perhaps in the life of your family, in the life of your human community, and maybe just a difference for the Earth as well. I think I'll be a lot less grumpy next year if we do that. In the meantime, happy Earth Day this year.